Good evening once again and welcome to UBC News Tonight on this 28th day of August 2021. I'm Loreen Masika Kazimoto and Mugalu Mohammed on sign language. Now we start off with our first headlining story this evening. The former Tanzanian president, Jakaya Kikwete, has visited Alliance for a Green Revolution in Uganda where he is a board member to monitor whether a grass objectives are being implemented. Jakaya Kikwete commended farmers for transforming agriculture in Uganda, especially in packaging, and vowed to support them technically. He was visiting Zirowe Agaliawamu Agri Business Training Association in Zirowe. Former President of the Republic of Tanganyika has today inspected works of farmers under the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Zimbabwe to ascertain whether the trainings offered have yielded. The board members of Alliance for a Green Revolution include the former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Haile Mariam, as the chairperson, Jakaya Chikwete, and Honorable Zisu, the former Prime Minister of Benin. So, of course, we, we meet with the heads of state of, of, of the respective partner countries, yes, to talk to them, to get their impression of the of the of the progress that is being made in in, the, in transformation of agriculture and the challenges that they are, they are facing and to see how agra is is part and parcel of the efforts to get solutions to the prop to the teething problems of transforming agriculture in their respective countries but we also meet partners because when we call to partners, it's just like the ZAPTA, the Kilimo Initiative, and, and uh, the Kilimo Trust, and, 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 and a number of, of, of these stakeholders. Chikwete says they have interacted with partners supporting AGRA to help them on a technical level. AGRA has trained scientists at the PhD and master's level to become seed breeders, soil scientists, so as to advertise the kind of fertilizers to be used on particular kinds of soils. And out of those 600 scientists, 54 are in Uganda, 20 PhDs and 34, 34 masters. And this, the, the, the 54 in Uganda are working with the National Agricultural Research Organization in, in, in seed breeding, in, in, in so on soil science. So that's why we're saying that they have been able to, 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 to invent or to, to, to come up with with the 59 varieties of seeds. He says farmers in Uganda have also started blending fertilizers which are being used for maize, rice and soya beans and have proved to be effective, hence fast improvement in agricultural products. Is that they are now exporting to Kenya. And they are exporting high quality. You, you know we have had these problems of, uh, of uh, maize, uh, having problems of... Uh, Aflatoxin, but the maize from from Zirogo doesn't have that problem because it is now done, being done properly. They they make sure that it's dried properly, it's taken proper care of, and when they export, they export high quality, high quality effort. And the other thing which has impressed me, which I I, I, I really commend them, is that they've been able to 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 economize on 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 on, on transport. They say the, the the trucks that are going to southern Sudan. Hey, to, to, after coming back from southern Sudan or from the neighboring countries t taking goods, when they return to Kenya, these are the trucks they use to, to, trans to transport the goods for produced by the, by, by, by the several cooperatives in Uganda to transport the goods to, 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 to Kenya. Representing the Ministry of Agriculture, Honorable Fred Wino Chakulaga thanked AGRA for building capacity of the private sector in terms of trade, processing, bulking and branding, among others. He thanked Agra Uganda for the support towards the development of the agriculture sector, specifically on production and productivity, post-harvest handling, among others. Agra Uganda has positively impacted over 1.5 million smallholder farmers, most especially through uh, increasing employment opportunities in the agriculture sector mostly to the youth and women, and the support to the provision of quality agricultural inputs, provision of technologies, provision of affordable agricultural financing, 
and increasing access to markets. Dr. Birunji Korutaro, a partner with Agrasis, they are still grappling with challenges in agriculture, thus the need to be addressed. And uh, our recent events where our maize was rejected in, Tanzan in Kenya uh, because of aflatoxin was a major impediment to our efforts. So issues of food safety need to be addressed even more. We have started on that, but a lot more needs to be supported in that area. Government in partnership with Agra Uganda has given opportunity for alignment, harmonization and harnessing complementary synergies to change the face of agriculture in Uganda. So that Kaye, UBC. Thank you, Sudat Kaye.